The youth are seen as the new engines for growth and strength to contribute to the transformation of the Commonwealth into an association that is 21st century compliant. But to fulfill these expectations, technocrats advise the youth to use available platforms and legal instruments ratified by their leaders to demand for reforms. There are different instruments that have been ratified by the various leaders across the world. For Africa, we have the uh, African Youth Charter, and if the young people demand it, look here, you as heads of states, you committed yourselves through these instruments. We want to see you walking the talk. Then that's when we can see a transformation. But the young people, first and foremost, must know that the destiny of the continent, the destiny of the world, the destiny of the Commonwealth is in their arms and nobody else. And nobody is going to give them power on a silver platter. The Commonwealth Secretariat is carrying out broad-based consultations on its future direction. At the last Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Trinidad and Tobago in November 2009, the summit appointed an eminent persons group to propose ways to strengthen Commonwealth institutions and sharpen their impact. We are talking about structural changes within the Commonwealth. We are talking about because uh, uh, the mandate and the, 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 the tasks which were given to this team are very clear to review the frequency of the ministerial meetings that take place, look at uh, the, 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 the secretary, the whole institution and look at what are some of its focus areas, where should it focus, how can it be uh, in line with the current generation. The institution is 60 years old. And today we have a generation of young people which has never existed before in the world. So, I mean, for the institution to be relevant, it has to meet this kind of audience. The Commonwealth is also moving to tackle the most pressing global issues like poverty in developing countries. And some believe the youth should be key in freeing themselves from poverty and relate better with the rest of the world. Africa contributes only 2% in the World Trade Organization. So that means that we can only do these things of the Commonwealth by only doing the diplomatic and international relations. So the youth of Africa and these ones who are in this association must make sure that they liberate themselves from all these chunks of poverty in order to very well contribute in this Commonwealth. The dialogue is part of a consultative process taking place among the 54 Commonwealth member countries. The Commonwealth is an umbrella organization of former British colonies and other latter-day members like Rwanda and Mozambique that don't fall in that category. Rwanda joined the Commonwealth in 2009. Michael Balike, NTV Tonight.